I just read about what Huawei and Huaning Ruchi are doing at the Yemen Open Pit Mine in Inner Mongolia, and I've got to say, it's pretty wild in a good way. They've rolled out over 100 fully electric, fully autonomous haul trucks, making it the largest fleet of its kind anywhere in the world. And yeah, no drivers. These things run themselves. It's all powered by Huawei's 5G advanced network, which is the same tech they use in their self-driving cars. That's what ties it all together with real-time data, vehicle coordination, and cloud control. Huawei's calling it a world first, and honestly, it kind of is. They've turned a coal mine into a showcase for what smart mining could look like. What's even crazier is that these trucks don't even have cabs. There's nowhere for a driver to sit. They're built from the ground up to be autonomous, which means they don't just take a driver out of the equation, they rewrite the whole playbook. And they can work in brutally cold weather, down to 40 degrees, while being 20% more efficient than human-operated trucks. The numbers are solid too. These trucks can haul around 90 metric tons or about 100 tons if you're thinking in American terms. Battery specs weren't fully detailed, but similar units have massive battery packs and serious torque, like 1,700 pound feet right from the jump. It's not just a cool science project either. This is phase one of a bigger plan. By 2028, they want 300 of these trucks running around the mine. There's a bigger picture here too. China's going all in on using AI and next generation connectivity to modernize old school industries like mining, and it's already proving effective in other sectors like shipping. If things like robotic charging systems catch on, we're talking about entire fleets that run without a single person having to touch them. Bottom line? This isn't just some futuristic concept, it's happening now. And if this is where mining is headed, a lot of older machines are about to start looking pretty outdated pretty fast. Between labor shortages, the demand for critical minerals, and the clear performance benefits of electric and autonomous equipment, I think we're going to see a lot more of this fast. What do you think? Game changer or just a flashy concept? Let us know in the comments. And if you're into the future of mobility, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell. More tech-first looks are coming your way, only on Digifix.